When I was your age, I was a Boy Scout. Who here knows the Boy Scout motto? Be prepared! That's right, and that motto saved my life. Because when the landing gear didn't come down, I was prepared. I knew what I had to do. I went around Florida, goodbye Florida, over Louisiana, and landed the space shuttle here in the Gulf of Mexico with a great big belly flop. And you weren't even scared? No, I wasn't scared. I was terrified. <laughs> People called me a hero. But anybody, anybody could have done that. You, or you, or you, or you, or you, or you. Being brave is being afraid of something, but doing it anyway. What are you going to do next? Well, tomorrow I'm testing a brand new jet for the Air Force called the F-A-22 Raptor. It's the most advanced fighter in the world. She's faster than the speed of sound. So if you hear a big boom in the sky tomorrow, that's me saying, hello, kids. Before I go, I brought some official Steve Wagner laser pointers for all you kids. There you go. Take one, pass them back. Well, I had a great time. And remember, what does Steve Wagner want you to do? Aim high. Thank you so much, Mr. Wagner. Wasn't he great? Let's give him a hand. Thank you. OK, so Julie's next guest is Mr. Adrian Monk, who's also my boss. Everybody be extra nice. He's going to talk about what it's like to be a police detective. Hi. Hi, I'm, I'm um, I'm... Leave it. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm Adrian Monk. Who wants to be a detective when they grow up? What about you? No? Everybody in your row has their hand up. Well, if you put your hand up, then it'd be a perfect drill. Put your hand up! Where's your gun? Um, I, uh, I don't have, I don't have one. You can't carry one, because you had a breakdown. <laughs> oh, well, uh. Julie says you're afraid of milk. Where... Well, everybody's, uh, everybody's afraid of something, right? Julie said you're afraid of everything. Mr. Monk, I, I really, have I'm... you ever caught a real killer? Oh, yes, oh. Yes, I've caught a lot of killers. Some killers are very smart, and some are uh, very powerful. Some are even famous. They don't think they will ever be caught, but in the end, they, they are always caught. And I'll tell you why. Because the police can make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time, but, uh, but it... <laughs> See, a, a killer has to be, uh, has to... <laughs> killer has to be perfect, and, uh, nobody's perfect. First police officers appeared in, a, in ancient Rome in 200 BC. They were called centurions. In many ways, they were like our modern police force. It was their job to to 
to enforce laws and to and to maintain order. Uh, they were uh, chosen for their for their loyalty. You okay? Oh. That was a good, good speech. I think the kids learned a lot. Yeah, they're, they're still laughing. Well, I'll have to stop soon. Period's almost over. Uh, I am such a, what do you call it? Wuss. No, Mr. Monk, you are not a wuss. Well, I'm not a man, I know that. I'm a mutant, I'm half man, half wuss. I'm a muss. Here you are, a brave centurion. I liked your speech, especially the little dance number at the end. Those laser pointers can be very dangerous. Yeah, they're a real menace. I hear you've been checking up on me, calling Joanne's family, her publisher, turning over rocks. If you want to talk to me, let's talk right now, man to muss. Did you hit her? Hit who? Joanne, did you hit her so hard that she woke up in the hospital? I wouldn't repeat that, Mr. Monk. That's slander. Besides, who would believe it? That's why you killed her, isn't it? Because she was about to go public. She was about to tell the truth about you. You're a sad little man. I can't believe you and I breathe the same air. I was on a spaceship, Mr. Monk, circling the Earth with my crew. Why doesn't that satisfy you? Am I making you nervous? Never. You know why? See? You flinched. See, you're a flincher. You'll never stop me. Because when the chips are down, when it really counts, you are always going to flinch. Sir, sorry to interrupt. Good to go. Would you excuse us? The governor's waiting. Oh my God. You were right. He killed her. That was almost a confession. But how? How did he do it? It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.